Thank you. Okay. Hello again, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm decided to do a new type of video today. Um, I'm gonna do a book rant because I'm... Thanks, Milo. Because I read a book <laughs> that infuriated me. <laughs> and I decided to talk to you guys about it. So, without further ado, here we go. Well, I'm gonna put a dis disclaimer in here. If you watch this video, this is my opinion. Um, I'm not trying to offend anybody. This is just how I felt as I was reading the book and as I finished the book. Um, if you love the book, that's fine. Just share what you love about the book in the comments. I don't want anybody thinking that I'm trying to come across as hateful. These are just my opinions. Take them as with a grain of salt. And there's going to be spoilers in this video. So if you haven't read this book, I would click off and just not watch. Okay. Now here we go. So, um, the book To All the Boys I've Loved Before. I read this book, like, four days ago. Um, I, the reason why I decided to read this book was because I had watched the movie on Netflix and I was like, oh my god, this movie's so fucking cute. I'm gonna read this book because that just means it's gonna be more cuteness, but longer. Because usually in movies they cut out stuff that happens in the book. I read the book. <sighs> Okay, <laughs> so let's start from the beginning. In the movie, um, Laura Dean's letters get sent out. Happens in the book too. But my main problems with this book are just all of it. I don't know. Like, I, I out of ev out of the whole book, I don't even know. Like, I'm speechless right now. Out of this whole book. The only characters that I like are sometimes Laura Jean and her little sister Kitty. But my love for Kitty quickly disappeared after I read the second book. Um, because I hated the second book just as much as I hated the first one. I gave the first book two stars on Goodreads. And my reasoning for giving it two stars, part of it was because I was so upset <laughs> that I liked the, the movie more than the book. I have never in my life liked a movie more than I liked liked the book. I've always, like, the movie's always been good, and yes, like, the movies are great, but they always leave out details, so the book is always better. Well, in the movie, um, they definitely take away a lot of Laura Jean's qualities that make her more like a person, because, like, in the book, she... She doesn't just read, she scrapbooks and she bakes all the time and like she has like all the stuff that she does, like she actively collects pearls and crap for her scrapbooking and they just have her reading in the movie. But I mean, I guess cutting out the scrapbooking isn't the end of the world. Um, I would say definitely the person out of this whole book that upset me the most, which <laughs> is why I hated the book because he's in the entire book is Peter Kavinsky. <laughs> in the movie, Noah Centineo, Centineo, he gives, he makes Peter's perfect. He is like this perfect, like kind of egotistical jock, but like he has a soft side on him and like he's, Fred, he's nice with his brother and like he's, he's, an, he's a nice guy, but he can kind of be a little vain at points. Peter in the books, just a complete ass. Like, oh my god, I have never hated a character more in my life. He, just the entire book, he he doesn't, there's no chemistry be between him and Laura Jean. Like, Laura Jean is like slowly her feelings for him are growing. Like, you can tell that her feelings for him are growing. I don't know why, because he's a dick, but her feelings are growing for him. Um, Peter just forever seems like he seems amused by Laura Jean, but it doesn't seem like his feelings for her grow at all. And then the last, like, like 40, 30 pages of the books, he's like, yeah, Laura Jean, I like you. Ugh. And then, like, that's it. And I'm like, what? <laughs> there was no progression up 
to that. There was nothing except for Laura Jean progressing on liking him. I don't know. I just... Everything about Peter upset me. Every thing that he did upset me. Like, I hated reading him. I hated it when he was in the scenes. I would have rather just the entire thing been Laura Jean scrapbooking and hang out with Kitty and that was it. And I would have been fine with that. But I, I couldn't handle him. The other person in the story that I very much didn't like, um, not as much as Peter, but close second. She's a close second. Um, Margo? Mar- Mar- Guy? I don't know what, how the fuck to say her name. Um, Laura Jean's older sister. I think she is a snotty bitch. I understand that her role in Laura Jean's life, the way- the role that she has taken since their mother passed away, is a motherly figure. And then she moves away, so she has to pass it down to Laura. But the thing that upset me about her was she was so judgmental. And it was like she she had taken on this role of motherly figure so intensely that she couldn't just be a sister and she couldn't just listen to Laura Jean. She judged everything. And like, I understand that to a certain extent as a sister, she still would have judged some of the stuff that she did and she still would have had the opinions that she did. But I feel like the reason why her opinions were so strong in this scenario is because she had taken on the mother motherly figure of taking care of Laura Jean and Kitty as like a older woman to look up to since their mom passed when they were so young. And I think that she was too intense. <laughs> I did not like her. I didn't like any of the scenes that she was in. So as you can tell between not liking her and not liking Peter, I did not like a majority of this book. <laughs> I loved I loved Kitty. Kitty was great because she was so blunt about everything she wanted. She was great until the second book when she chose Peter over Laura. That was the part that upset me. That's another spoiler. Just this whole entire video is going to be spoilers. If you watched it this far, I'm sorry <laughs> that you know everything that's happening. But um, I don't know. Just I was so upset by this book. My, my anger has ceased now, definitely, since I've ranted to my boyfriend about it and I ranted with a girl about it at work um, who has also read the books. I wonder if you guys can hear that. If you hear growling, that's my cat Archie. Um, he doesn't like to share his toys. <laughs> um, well, anyway, uh, thank you for watching this video. Um, if you like these videos of me ranting about books that I don't like, um, please like and comment below. Or comment below books that you think I should read that won't upset me as much as this one. Um, but if they do upset me, I'll just make another rant about it. <laughs> Anyways, uh, please like this video and subscribe and comment below. Um, I will leave all of my social media stuff in the uh, description if you want to follow me on Twitter and Instagram too. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye!